spring is coming and it's time to get busy. So welcome to a productive day in my life, or at least that's what we're aiming for. My first order of business today is going to be just stripping all of our sheets from our bed and then also our guest bedroom because we had guests in there this weekend and starting a load of laundry and then getting started on cleaning up the kitchen. little bit vulnerable here and I'm just asking that you hold the judgment a little bit okay you can judge a little bit that's completely understandable but just extend a little bit of grace so I'm kind of in the midst of a closet clean out Keegan started it a little bit over the weekend kind of pulling out a bunch of my stuff and some laundry I don't know it's kind of a mess but today I want to accomplish the long-awaited task of decluttering my closet. It's pretty bad. I tend to be a little bit of a clothing hoarder. I think that I'm going to wear something again when the reality is I haven't for three years. It's, it's time to move on. And today I'm ready. I got a boost of energy. I'm ready to be productive. So let me show you what we're working with. Once again, go easy on me. Okay, so this is what we're dealing with. Currently on the floor is a stack of a bunch of clothing that either needs put away from the laundry or things that I need to sort through a little bit, okay? This is stressing me out. <laughs> Not loving this. I have my dresser full of clothes that desperately needs gone through. I have a little stack of bags that I need to figure out and I'll show you my closet. Here we have several buckets full of shoes that I definitely don't wear them all. I probably wear like three pairs of summer shoes and like three pairs of winter shoes. So these desperately need gone through. And then on the other side, I have like my dresses and stuff, but this closet's not the most functional. It's just part of living in a small house, a small old house. No walk-in closet, so it's a little bit hard to give like a whole closet tour, but first things first, I want to kind of go through the pile that's on the floor and figure out what I'm keeping and what I'm gonna get rid of and kind of make a stack that needs like hung up and put away. Okay, I now have a little bit of a stack started. I have the clothes that I'm keeping that just kind of need put away. This is a stack that I'm going to sell or donate, and this dress is kind of ripped, and so it probably just needs thrown away. And then I put a stack on the bed that is some of Keegan's stuff that got mixed in here. Now what I'm really ready to do is to go through all of these dressers and figure out what I'm keeping. Actually, before I do that, I'm gonna clean up my dresser because I want to have that already a nice space before I get into the drawers. I love awkward camera angles. This drawer is like my t-shirts and that sort of thing. I know that there's a lot of these that I don't wear, so I'm ready to go through them. Okay, now they're a little bit divided. I have the clothes that I'm keeping. This is a stack that I'm also keeping, but I just want it to be a little bit more organized. These are all like undershirts and tank tops and that sort of thing. And then I'm getting rid of all of these shirts. So this drawer is all like winter shirts and sweaters and that sort of thing. Let's declutter it. bottom two drawers are both like skirts and shorts and all of my bottoms. I kind of wonder if I could condense it down to just one drawer because I know I don't wear all of these. And then I would have an extra drawer to put space which would be so nice. Okay. 
Okay, they pretty all easily fit in one drawer. I have them kind of separated and organized. These are kind of like my dressy black skirts, athletic skirts, dressy brown, jean skirts and shorts and everything. And they honestly fit really nicely. So now I have one free drawer space to work with. So this is the pile that we have so far of all the clothes that we're getting rid of. Yeah. It feels pretty good to have lots decluttered. Next, I am doing my two big buckets of shoes. This is gonna clean up so much closet space. All of these shoes that I'm not keeping. So much closet space cleaned up. The next order of business is going to be going through all of my dresses and things that are hanging up to get rid of anything that I don't wear. Okay, so since I have one extra drawer of drawer space, I kind of want to move all of my like leggings and pajamas that I have here over to that drawer so that I can use that shelf to put my bags and purses that I've just kind of thrown on the floor and not really had a spot for. Well, I definitely would like to have like a shelf for all my shoes, but this looks so nice, so organized. This is so satisfying. I'm like so thankful to not have my big bins of shoes anymore. Okay, I'm kind of ready to get out of the house now. After doing all that decluttering and cleaning up our room, I need a change of scenery. So I need to just run to the grocery really quick and get a few things. It's not gonna be like a grocery haul or anything. I just need a spice for dinner. It's one that I've never used before and I'm hoping that our grocery has it. I need some baking powder, I'm out of that, and I'm gonna get a Swiffer. I don't know why I have never gotten a Swiffer before. Our kitchen floors are kind of dirty and I am so done with using a mop. I'm just, I'm over it. It just is way more work than a Swiffer and I was using one somewhere else and I was like, this is so much better than mopping. So anyways, I would like to buy one and I'm also gonna buy one for my work too. Super exciting things going going on, but let's go to the grocery. Okay, I got my Swiffer and I'm gonna do a little bit of an unboxing. I know this is not crazy. Everybody and their mom has one of these, but I'm excited. Okay, so I got like the nicer one because this is the one that I used before and I really liked the way that it worked. It came like with a solution that is right here. I typically like to err on the side of using more clean, non-toxic ingredients, especially in my cleaning, but I'm not going to worry about it right now because this is what it came with. I'm sure it cleans great. However, I would like to look into maybe an alternative if I can. I don't really know because this is like their solution that perfectly fits into the Swiffer. So I didn't really think about that. But if any of you guys have any suggestions or something that you've used as like a cleaner solution for your Swiffer, let me know. I would love to know. But I'm not gonna worry about it. I'm just gonna use this for now. Let me see if I can get this thing put together. The way 
way that that just took me like 15 minutes to put together. <laughs> it's ridiculous. And I was tempted to like wait till Keegan came home, but I was like, no, I can figure this out myself. This shouldn't be that hard. This is literally a Swiffer. I'm just so bad with directions and assembling anything, but you know, we figured it out. No big deal. I am very excited to mop my floors with it here in a little bit, but first I wanna do a little bit of dinner prep. Tonight for dinner, I am making something that I have never made. Like a month ago, I went to an Indian restaurant for the first time and I tried butter chicken. I had heard about butter chicken so many times people talking about how good it was and it always sounded really good but i never had tried it and i get the hype it was so delicious and i've been craving it ever since but we do not live close to an indian restaurant so i decided i should try and make it so that's what i'm making tonight and it just does take several different like spices and ingredients that i wouldn't normally cook with so i did have to have like a little bit of extra prep and groceries, but I'm hoping that this turns out so that I will use those extra ingredients and make this again. So I have no idea if this is gonna turn out good or if it's gonna be a total fail and it's just something that it's only good if you get it at a restaurant or if somebody who knows how to make Indian food makes it really well. I don't even know if like butter chicken is authentic like it might just be an americanized indian food i have no idea but i do know that it is delicious and i hope that it can turn out good i will keep you posted and give you guys an honest review right now i just want to cut up my chicken and get it started marinating i read that the longer it marinates the better so i decided to get a couple hour head start on it and hopefully it can be good. I kind of wanted to get started on that earlier, but you know how that is. That never works out. So I think it said at least 30 minutes. So we should be good on that. Swiffer after one use is that it was a really good purchase. I honestly think it does a better job than the mop. I love how it just sprays right in front of me. It doesn't get the floors like sopping wet and it just scrubs really nice on my flooring. Not a fan of the cleaner itself. It smells really good. It smells really clean. It does a good job. The scent is just very strong and I think it might just be I'm not used to like these stronger scented fragranted cleaners and it kind of gives me a little bit of a headache so I don't know I really don't want it to go to waste because it came with it so I'll keep using it probably but if it keeps like bugging me or if I feel like the scent just like smells up my house for too long I might just dump it out because it's just like it's in this plastic bottle and I feel like maybe I could just take off the lid and dump it out and refill it with like my own cleaner. I'm not sure if that will work or not. If any of you have done that, let me know. But I would love to have like a different option for one that's a little bit cleaner and doesn't smell so strong. I am going to just sit down and do a little bit of work on my computer. I need to do some editing for the next video coming out and then I will get started on dinner. In the event of trying new things, my second thing that I'm trying is the perfect pairing with butter chicken, some homemade naan bread. 
I'm hoping that this works out okay. I've never done it, but it doesn't look too difficult as long as I can get the thickness right. I don't know, we'll see, but it sounds so amazing. because you don't get your floor like soaking wet oh, yeah. and, and it just does and such a good job for floors yeah so cool everybody is so excited that is so amazing this is like the most amazing content they've seen like know, all it's, year it's like revolutionary <laughs> well we're gonna start a new trend i know i'll make sure to put a link for this swiffer in the description of course gotta get that money there is nothing and no tell you that was one of the best dinners I've had in a really long time that was a good recipe I will make sure to put it in the description in case you want to make but that was so good but I am like so stuffed the first time of making butter chicken was a success I will be making it again like water. Anyway